tell you what, your greens are amazing for the shade. Of course, that's the Pella, you know? Yep. That does well. It likes it. It can tolerate. Yep. I worked with this old guy back in uh, late 60s. You'll love this story. So he had a green that was all shade, and it was all Pella. And every spring, he'd go out with a sod cutter, a Ryan, no less. And we had two of them. He'd sod cut that whole green, all right? And then come in and we'd hand roll it and that's it. And every year it just did unbelievable because it initiated all that new root growth. <laughs> didn't air fry it, didn't do anything. This is the same guy that used to use dynamite to blow them. He, oh. would, he would take angled drills and he had pipes in them, right? Yeah. And we'd send a stick of, or have a quarter stick of dynamite down them and then pack them with clay and then take them back and then take a pickup truck and just touch them to the car battery. You see that just go bump. That's all you'd hear. And it'd loosen them. Like before you do it, you try to take a, like a probe and stick it in and you couldn't stick it in. And after it was done, it was like butter. I'm like, <laughs> I said, I've never seen that in the GCSA so magazine. <laughs> A little hard on irrigation nowadays. Was, that was all yeah, steel yeah. pipe then, you know. Yeah, you could get away with that. So he was he pretty tough own, on PVC. He had his own version of fras mowing. Yeah, he took the sod cutter and yeah. Oh, he was a character. That's awesome. That's he hilarious. was totally different than anybody I ever worked for.